Alright, this is going to be about ADD, Attention Deficit Disorder, uh, why it does not exist, and it's all you a bunch ADD of shit, given shit, to you by shit, doctors ADD to sucks. fucking scam your fucking parents, and, and the whole psychiatric business ADD to get my sucks. money out your ass. Now, ADD please sucks. listen, because I have experience, ADD and I know sucks my ass. I'm not some dumbass just ranting on the YouTube, and I have no idea what I'm talking about. I've been on ADD. ADD shit, 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 ADD so sucks my ass, my ass, my ass, my ass. You're just a fucking asshole, fuck you. That's what I gotta say. So listen up. Attention deficit disorder. Break down what the meaning of the word is. Attention means Stop letting the doctors lie focus. to your parents. I mean, I'm going off, I'm not going off the dictionary. I'm just saying what I think. It means, attention means to focus. Attention, have concentration. Deficit means to lack to not be sufficient in, to not be adequate in. So attention deficit means to have a- inadequate ability to concentrate. Ass, disorder ass, means ass. disorganized. Disorder, un- the opposite of order. So you have an unor- unordered ability to focus. An inability to focus and you're unorganized. That's what uh, AD- ADD stands for, basically. Stop pushing yeah, pills to those kids, you fucking motherfuckers. You ever notice how a kid, when they're in school, they, they, they have the kid, they always do bad, right? And then they're doing poorly in school, but then they go home, and then they freaking play these video Stop games. Stop letting the doctors lie to very, your parents. Very engaging, and a lot of them are not easy, actually. They take a lot of actual skill and thought, and a lot of them, like the shooters, are mostly reflexes, but still, it takes skill. It's not something like that is just super easy. You have to have, you know, some level of mental skill to, to do well in those games. So you see these kids, and they're doing so horribly in school, but they're going, going home and they're mastering, they're doing awesome in these games, you know? So it's like, well, attention deficit disorder, the only way it would actually be, it actually exist, is if the, if the person had a, an inability to concentrate on everything. But everybody has something they like to do, and when they like to do it, they can concentrate. And if they work hard, along with their concentration and enjoyment they can achieve really they can achieve something and do well in it so there there you go it does not exist the only way it could exist is if you take these people who are diagnosed with ADD or ADHD or whatever the bullshit they want to call it and they wouldn't be able to concentrate on anything but they can concentrate even Einstein he basically flunked out of freaking school because they thought he was stupid you know so it doesn't exist it's all bullshit Okay, I was a kid, I was five, six years old, and they took me to a psychiatrist and they put me on Ritalin. And I couldn't, I didn't concentrate well in school. I was so fucking boring. That's another thing. You got teachers and they're fucking boring. And school mostly is boring as shit. That's the problem. It's boring. The teachers are fucking boring. The subject matter is fucking boring. So when you have a kid, and, and, and this is where the video games come into play, you have a kid. So that's why they say there's more kids getting ADD. That's one of the reasons I believe that the grades are lower. Why? Because you have all these video games. Think about it. You go into a classroom, you got this boring fucking ass teacher teaching boring ass subject, boring fuck, who doesn't know how to relate to the children because they think they're better than the children. You know, if you really want to be a good teacher, you got to be a kid yourself. You got to, you know, you got to relate to them. You know, you got to, anyway. So the thing is, is you got to, you got to basically be like um, a child yourself. You know, you can't think of I'm better, I'm the teacher. No, you know, actually children can teach us a lot more than we we can teach them. You know, we're the adults. We go and we wage wars and we kill people. We do all this stuff. Even me, I want to be a vegetarian. Eventually, maybe I will. You know, we kill animals. We do a lot of bad things. You know, and then the children are so nice and friendly for the most part. And they're, you know, they're basically, they're, they're not like us. So... Actually, if we walk into the in, into the classroom or wherever and see like children, we can learn from them. If you have this mentality that we're not better than them, but just that we're just who we are and that's what they are, we could relate to them and realize that the child within us is still there. My mother taught me before, I'd never forget the child within the kid within yourself. Something like that. And these games are so engaging and they're so graphically, you know, good. And, you know, and these kids are playing these games when they get home. And these kids, in these games, no offense, they're way more fun than most school. I mean, 
you know, anybody could just sit there and play all day long, you know, you know, I mean, if they don't, if they, you know, me, I'm kind of burned out of video games, like, as far as playing them a lot, but, um, overall, I mean, but, the thing is, is they're playing all these high-tech video games, and then they're going back to a boring-ass classroom, of course they're not going to concentrate well, I mean, it's like, you know, you, it's like if you go and drive in a Lamborghini, right, and then in the morning, you gotta, you gotta ride a fucking broke-down bicycle, you're not gonna wanna ride that fucking bicycle, you're just gonna go, go back in your fucking Lamborghini, the Lamborghini's like those video games, it's just so much more fun and attractive, and then you go to school, and you got this fucked-up teacher, it's like a broke-down fucking bicycle with no wheels, how the fuck are you gonna ride that thing and have any fucking enjoyment, because it sucks, you see what I'm saying, so, this is, this is some of the reasons, you know, these, there is no such thing as ADD, ADHD, all this bullshit, it does not fucking exist, there's a lot of people, name me one person on the planet that cannot concentrate on anything, ever, everybody can concentrate on something, so, that doesn't, that means it doesn't exist, I'd like some, you know, if somebody wants to be a bitch and say, oh, you motherfucker, yeah, yeah, no, cause I, I take it and it helps me, it doesn't fucking help you, bitch, it fucking makes you worse, I was, I sick of them, I, they, they put me on Ritalin, my, my mom took me to a psychiatrist and I was put on Ritalin at 5, 6 years old and I took it until I was 16 until I was 16 and I felt horrible taking that shit when I was 17 I went to a new high school for my senior year and I said I'm not going to take this shit anymore you know what and you know what I did that year I got a 3.85 GPA I got the best grades of my life to that point so and they, and they all tell you, oh, if you don't take it, you're not going to be able to concentrate. Even my mom didn't want me to stop it. You know, so, and even after she told me something really mean, which I don't want to repeat here, after I did so well that year, because I got angry one time, you know, I, or I did something anyway. But anyway, the thing is, is that, you know, it's bullshit. ADD does not fucking exist. I'd love for someone to get on here and try to debate me. And try to say, oh, it does exist. It exists because I fucking take the pills and health. Go fuck yourself with the pills. Anyway. At least for ADD, you gotta fuck yourself.